Hello, YTPC. Ian Owens here again, the Nerdy Piper, coming at you today with a VR by request for Andrew Cerigliano. Andrew Cerigliano, that is, the Piper with the blue fin, the blue fin Piper. Uh, Andrew asked for a VR concerning tobacco use, prim primarily pipe smoking, in comic books, uh, that type of pop culture. And uh, I've done some digging for you, Andrew, and I found some pretty cool stuff, and I'm excited to share it with you. First things first, before we get into that, smoking my Lorenzetti Nero. One of my favorite pipes. I think this is an absolutely gorgeous pipe. I love the difference, the uh, rustication on the bowl, and then you meet the smooth rim, and then also the smooth area on the shank. Um, right underneath these these inlays here, I think that is so gorgeous. You have an inlay in the stem, and then you have an in, inlay in the in the in the shank. Uh, this side is rusticated instead of smooth. I think that's a beautiful pipe, and in it I am smoking a four-year-old tin of Mississippi River. I ordered that in 2014, Seattle Pipe Club. That's already a wonderful tobacco. If you haven't tried it, you need to get some. Uh, but four years of age on that has really just grown it incredibly. Um, the Orientals and the Latakia really have uh, become stronger, and to me, they overpower now the Virginias a little bit, and uh, I, I think it's delicious. I mean, that's, that's a good thing. Also, having some coffee from Café du Monde in New Orleans there, home of the Beignet coffee and chicory, and that is delicious and very strong, very full-bodied in, uh, in a coffee cup that my amazing cousin Lauren made for me on our trip down to Mississippi this last couple of weeks. It has my tagline on there, peace, blessings, and good smokes. She's very, very talented. Thank you, Lauren. Um, all right, so getting right into it. So, in comic book pop culture, just like in all things pop culture, all types of pop culture and life in general, of course, uh, tobacco use is present. You have cigarettes, you have cigars, you have pipes uh, occasionally. The interesting thing about that is that the uh, the stigma or the stereotypes that typically follow those types of tobacco usage also are present and apply in the comic book world. What I mean by that, cigarettes notwithstanding, because that covers a wide gambit, uh, cigars are typically smoked by the more gruff, aggressive, angrier, brooding characters. I think it's something they use as a technique to show um, a, a lack of a, of a pro. You can't approach this character. Examples of that would be Hellboy and Wolverine, uh, very, very distinct examples. You very rarely see Wolverine without a, a cigar in his mouth. And same thing with Hellboy. He, he goes from one to the other and he chews them like candy. And I think the reason for that is to kind of show this this hard demeanor and to set them up as a character that you don't easily approach. Now, the pipe uh, in comic book pop culture is used to typically distinguish the intellectuals amongst the other uh, character roster, or characters in the roster, rather. So just like it would be in other types of pop culture or uh, even in day-to-day -day life, uh, we associate a pipe with Einstein, uh, a real figure who was obviously very intellectual. We associate pipe smoking with uh, Gandalf from The Lord of the Rings and Sherlock, um, introspective, wise, and uh, brilliant characters. And so, uh, so that's typically what that's used for. So, the characters that you would normally see uh, smoking a pipe in comic books are characters like Professor X, Professor Xavier from from the X Men, uh, he's often shown smoking a pipe, especially in more contemplative scenes. Another of those is Reed Richards, also a thinker, leader of the Fantastic Four. Um, let's see, Batman fought an intellectual enemy one time called the Pied Piper, and uh, the cover artwork of that was Batman trapped 
in the bowl of a giant pipe, which was kind of interesting to me. Another one from Marvel was Tony Stark. He would often smoke a pipe. Uh, so there, again, um, the, those three examples from Marvel and the one from DC all used to distinguish uh, thinkers and intellectuals. Um, so just like the normal, regular stereotype uh, for, for pipe smokers, typically um, you associate that with intellect, with introspection, with reflection, with a deep thinker. Now, that's not always true, especially in my case. Probably not a lot of deep thinking going on here, <laughs> but it's, it's nice to have the association anyway. Uh, another pipe smoker in the X-Men comics or, or Marvel comics uh, was Banshee, the X-Man. Uh, he was an Irishman, like me, so I like him an awful lot. Um, he was the uh, he was the X Man who could fly and, and use his voice as a weapon. Oh, Banshee, hence, hence the name there. Um, interestingly, though, tobacco is found in a lot of different forms in in comic books, just like it would be anywhere else in any other type of pop culture. Um, there was a run of Action Comics, which was the Superman, one of the Superman comics back in the 1970s. And in those comics, Perry White, the editor for, um, for the Daily Planet, uh, the paper where Clark Kent worked as a reporter, was gifted by some mutant alien teenagers uh, some super cigars. If he smoked these cigars, he would develop superpowers of his choosing. Not a set superpower, but he could pretty much wish and choose what his superpowers would be. Uh, that was in the late 1970s. In 1982, in issue number 376 of the actual Superman run, so you had Action Comics, which was Superman, but you also had Superman. In issue number 372 of that run, Perry White is hospitalized by a villain named the Ozone Master. When he's on his deathbed in the hospital, he asks Superman to get his last super cigar, the final super cigar. And Superman does so. He runs to uh, Perry's safe. He gets it, puts it in his mouth, and he lights it in his mouth with his, um, in Perry's mouth, with his laser vision, enabling his friend to have some comfort, but also to be able to tap into those superpowers yet again for increased healing and also to track down the villain who had done this, who had victimized Perry. And so he chose powers like unto Superman. He chose flight and super strength and speed. And uh, he dealt with the Ozone Master swiftly. So you can rest calmly in that. But anyway, so um, the tobacco use is prevalent. And I think the interesting thing there, like I've already stated, is that but typically, it's applied in the same way it is in other types of pop culture, and you see the same stigmas, the same stereotypes applied. So I did find that was interesting. I hope you find that's interesting. And uh, I thought this was a lot of fun, so thank you for the idea. And also, I want to show you something. So I'm going to cut away just really quickly, and I'll come back. All right, Andrew, you asked me how I display my comic books. Uh, there are a few different ways. You'll notice this is a shadow box that I have on my wall here. And this is an issue from the 1980s when Skeletor brought Superman into Eternia to uh, battle He-Man while under mind control. Obviously, one of my favorite issues of comics ever because it incorporates uh, my favorite 80s action hero there, He-Man and Superman, uh, which is one of my favorite comic book characters. I mean, how could he not be? This is just one of the of the ways to do that. Actually, this last week in Marshalls, I saw they had some poster frames that were sized specifically for the display of comic books, and they were very nice looking and, and not expensive, very affordable. So, pipe smoking in comic book pop culture. It is there. It is well represented. And I think that it probably comes in the form that you would expect. But I hope that you found this interesting and that you enjoyed it. Thank you again for the idea. I thought it was a lot of fun. And I hope that we get to do some more stuff like this in the future. Uh, on a quick side note, uh, this weekend while in Mississippi, I inherited one of my grandfather's fly rods. It's a really cool rod, but it needs some restoration. 
maybe we can talk. All right, so as always, peace, blessings, and good smokes.